Well, hello, my inky friends. It's Cindy Lynn with My Inky Fingers. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel and blog. And if you're new here, welcome. Um, let me first start by asking everybody a question. My question I would like to know is, how is 2021 treating you? 2021 has kind of been kicking me in the butt <laughs> or kicking me when I'm down, if you will. If you're not subscribed to my other channel, Our Inky Life, and that's the channel that Todd and I created to create some non-card making videos and just some fun stuff for other hobbies that we're into. But it's also a place that I felt I wanted to be able to connect with you guys more one-on-one, -on -one, more like uncut and just more natural. So I posted a video there last week, just kind of an update on what's been going on with me here in 2021. So if I have not responded to the your message, it's only because I have gotten so many messages this year about, you know, where are you? What's going on? And I mean, just when you think it's safe to come out of the water and all the junk I dealt with in 2020 was over, 2021 just smacked me. So I am doing my best. Now, this video is just kind of some retail therapy. I thought that maybe by um, just buying a bunch of stuff and engaging in some retail therapy, it was going to make me feel better and help me get back in the studio and get creative. Um, I am feeling a little more inspired day by day. Things are getting better. So without further ado, let's get into some of the things I recently picked up. Now, I had to pick up the kangaroo dies because I forgot to pick them up in another order. Now, I want to show you, I specifically left these ones out because I do have a video on how I store my dies. Now, what I do is I have in the past been taking these off of here and putting them into my stamp case. I'm getting too lazy for that, so I'm just going to leave it like that. But I have a stamp case here with pre-cut magnet pads, uh, magnet sheets, magnet pads. And in the beginning, I was just taping these and putting them in there thinking that they'd be easier to remove. And the stickiness on the two-sided tape is pretty much the same stickiness as this. And I came to learn that I can pull this out fairly easily. So I'm skipping the step in the video that I will link for you guys where I put double-sided sticky on that, um, that protection back for the actual stickiness in the in the the magnet sheet. So that I cut because they come in bigger sheets. I will link them and I cut them to five by seven, okay? And there are some little strips left over. Save those because if you're part of my online classes, I used those strips in a recent project. So I am always storing my dies in with my stamps, that's just the easiest for me. I mean, how do you store your dies? There's so many different ways. I saw this one video where this gal, she turned her whole workstation into, I haven't turned these lights on, into um, a magnet sheet. Like she just has magnet sheets all around her workstation. I've seen walls full of magnet sheets, but I find it kind of gets a little messy. <laughs> so I like to keep mine in with my actual stamps. And then I catalog all of these. And I have another video too, how I store and catalog my stamps. And that cataloging system kind of keeps me organized. But the kangaroo and company dies, I now have those. So um, I save these as well because things that I purchase stamps primarily, I can cut the top off of here and I can normally store them in these in a basket. So moving on, I got, you know, I'm kind of most excited <laughs> about something I got that's not stamping up. So I'm going to show you that. I got these little colored little clips. Okay. And there's how many is there? Two, four, six, eight, ten colors. I mean, they have pretty much got all the colors of the rainbow covered except black and white, but I'm not worried about that. And these I got from Crafters Solutions on Etsy. My sideline, um, there goes Giz. My sideline, Cheryl Lee told me about these. And they actually sell these little glue stand thingies here. So the nice thing about these is you know how I always put my glue in another bottle. I can leave this upside down and then when my bottle I've, is getting low, I can always refill them with the little leftovers of these before I throw them away. So these though, 
super excited about these because these are the neck clips for the blends brushes. So, I mean, they just clip right on. Now, I did use these. I said I was going to do a review. I did make a card. I made Todd's Valentine card. Um, what happened to Valentine's? I feel like it came and went and I wasn't even here for it. But I did make a card and I did record it. I don't know if it'll come to fruition on the channel or not, but I did use those for that. And I probably actually put a few too many little stones in here. These little acrylic stones, I got them at the dollar store. But now I can just stick one of these on every one of my blender brushes. And I knew I was gonna be short a brush. So what did I do? Whoopsie. What did I do? I ordered more. So the white and the black, remember I was telling you there isn't one for those. I'm gonna leave these two, sorry that's so loud and crinkly I'm sure, in the container because if I need one for black or white, then I've got those, I can just put those away. I may have to take a few <laughs> of these little beads out of here because I think I've got too many, but I love now that each one of those has its own color. So definitely, um, I would say I recommend them. They, you know, the shipping was reasonable to Canada. It came in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, I guess that's all dependent on what your version of reasonable is, but I was pretty happy with them. And these little stands, gotta love those, right? So all of my little shot glasses went back to the dining room cabinet because I'm not stealing them for glue anymore. So now back to the actual things I picked up. I got this happy thoughts. now. I, I'm a thing, I got this thing for, you know, cutesy, curvy little sentiments, right? And this Happy Thoughts has so many great little sentiments in it. And of course, it's rubber. Who doesn't love rubber? So I was really, really, really pleased with that one. I did pick up the Pretty Perennials bundle. I've almost got 100% left, like 100% of my wish list done. I have one more order sitting on the computer ready to launch and that's going to wrap it up. So I don't know that there's going to be that many more unboxings until the new catalog because I pretty much got what I wanted, right? So you enjoy them while they last. This one here, I did pick up the bundle. So I got the dies and of course I've already put this together. So I like this one because it's solid and you can do the watercolor effect. You know how you stamp it in the ink and then you spray it with some water. I've done that in a few different videos. You can also do some ombre um, and, the, and the blending, right? You know how I love my little daubers and I like to blend around the outsides. So this one, I'm super pleased with this set. I'm gonna use that for blending and maybe even some watercoloring too. The All Wired Up. Now, I gotta tell ya, I have the old chicken wire background. I don't know that it's much different, um, but it didn't have a case. <laughs> and it's somewhere in the other room, so um, cataloged and retired. So the all wired up, I grabbed it because it was there, it was on my wish list. And this is gonna go really well with all the chicken stamps that I picked up recently. Now, I was really happy with this Oval Occasions and primarily because the actual punch pairs with Punch Party, which is the host set for the Celebration Catalog. Now, watch for my next unboxing because I may be giving one of these away. So Oval Occasions. I really like this one because it's got a nice variety. Um, this here, I've already got this thing in mind for something I wanna do with this with some treat boxes for Easter. Don't know if it'll come to fruition, but hopefully it will. But I like that there's a whole bunch of little different sentiments. And this sweet friend, I gotta tell you, there's a sweet friend sentiment in an old stamp set. I can't, couldn't even tell you which one it is right now. It's in my catalog book and I use it often, but it's retired. And now there's another new sweet friend. So I'm super excited that I get to do the sweet friend because sweet friend is just, it's, it's, just kind of taking those friendship cards to, to the next level of sweetness because it's sweet friend, not my friend or cherished friend, it's sweet friend. So I really like that one. And the happy birthday, little treat for you, some stars and hearts and flowers and thank you and lucky to know you. This lucky to know you, this would make a really good St. Patrick's Day card and take your hearts, like your heart punches or your heart stamps, stamp them upside down, put a little thingy. Well, I guess that would be a spade, right? Well, I guess I'd be a spade, right? But you can take 
You can make a four leaf or a three leaf clover out of hearts too, right? Yeah, sure you can. So that would make a great little St. Patrick's Day card. I'm going to open this. There we go. And the thing I love, like I said about this, is it pairs with the punch party. Now, again, watch for my unboxing next month because I'm probably going to do a giveaway. But this here, again, same thing with the oval occasions. There's so many different, and these um, post, that, that kind of reminds me of the postage right here. I'm thinking the postage for you, they're probably yeah pretty close i know that this one without the scalloped edge this one here will work i haven't tried this one if you've tried it definitely let me know in the comments but i will try that but i love it when you get stamp sets that kind of cross reference with the punches we already have right because these punches take up a lot of real estate in my drawer let me tell you now i did get this um add-on the sending hearts add-on for the paper pumpkin I mean, how could I not? It is so stinking cute. I I actually did some, I did the paper pumpkin. I, I didn't have the snails and these cute little thingies in there, but I did the whole paper pumpkin kit and I used some of the business stamps that I got in the last unboxing. So for those of you that are demos that follow me, you will definitely want to keep an eye out for that video. Um, just, you watch for that video because I, I got some really cool ideas using the paper pumpkin that you can of course replicate with any paper you don't have to have the paper pumpkin but these here I mean you know how much I love the snail mail suite so um, these just kind of reminded me of it and there's some cute little boxes I mean I'm always doing little treat thingies for dad's um, home so this I may just have to do some random little treat thingy for dad's home just just because the next one that I picked up, I mean, how could I not get Springtime Joy? We don't have enough Easter stuff, but these ones, I gotta be honest, I wasn't that thrilled with last year's bunny. Um, and he just wasn't doing it for me. But these ones, I mean, look at this. This isn't a bunny, it's a lamb. I'm aware of that, but it is too, 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 too cute. And the little chick, oh my God, he's so cute. And the bunny, I mean, I just love this. And I love that it's springtime. So you don't necessarily have to make Easter cards. You can make spring cards, right? And then all of these are interchangeable with spring because there's no like anything that's speaking and screaming. It's predominantly Easter. So I really like that. And this is pretty universal too. So you'll notice that I don't buy a lot of the super religious stamps because not everybody is religious and it, it kind of makes it more generic. You can give those cards to anyone. And a lot of people, you know, have different beliefs too, right? So when it comes to Easter, you can still celebrate Easter without being too, too religious with this set, or you can just cel celebrate spring with that set. So love that. Ice cream corner. I had overlooked this. I wasn't going to get it. And then I just saw some really cute and inspiring cards. So I had to get it in this stuff. I got to tell you, I pulled this out of the box and everything has been sitting here for a couple of weeks, but I pulled this out and I thought that dude, that looks like stuff you could eat. I mean, they look like legit actual little colored chocolate sprinklets. They are so stinking cute. So shaker card in mine comes with some ribbon. Now, if you get the sweet, it comes with the ribbon or you could pick up the ribbon on its own, but it's kind of like an organza, organza, organdy, organdy, no, or, organza, yeah, not organdy, organza ribbon where it's kind of transparent, you know, and it's got some little stripes in there. So super cute. It's soft and it's kind of shiny too. It's hard to see on camera, but it is shiny and I really like that. Super cute. So the punch, I did order the sweet. The punch is on back order. So I actually was going through this here prior to my unboxing and went, oh my gosh, I didn't get my punch. And I went to the computer and of course it is on back order. So um, photopolymer stamps and this one here, I mean, you gotta love Stampin' Up! because everything is so interchangeable. You've got happy birthday, thank you, treat yourself, you melt my heart, thank you with sprinkles on top. I mean, hope the happy birthday, hope it's sweet. And then you can do your blending on stamps with these here. Upper cool, so, so cool. And even the ice cream, you could do the watercolor, give it like a marbly effect, just ink it up like I said earlier and spray. Um, you could even spray it with... Um, 
the frost white shimmer spray that I make, you could spray it with that. And then when you stamp it, it'll have a shimmery effect, a shimmery watercolor effect. That would be super, super cool. Now I'm excited to look at this paper. I never, ever, ever look at these before doing my unboxing because I want it to be, I want it to be authentic and real, like what I actually think. And this one, of course, I could see it because that was exposed. And I really, really do like that. Now I wish I don't have the punch and I doubt that this is going to cut out from the punch, but I like that it's smaller scale for card making. So I'm happy with that. And then the back side of that, oh, I really like that. And this here would work really well on its own too for masculine cards, but I, I could actually see myself making a card with this on the bottom, this on top, and you could even separate the two with the ribbon. I mean, you know what I mean? Like that would look, that would look super cute. I like that. So not a huge fan of this. Now, what I am a fan of is this is that watercolory effect I was telling you about when you spray and you could even splatter, okay? So take your stamp, ink it, spray it, and then take one of your splatters and splatter on it. That would be super cool. Or you could just ink the stamp, lay it there in your little box and splatter on top of the ink. Mm -mm, I'm probably going to do that with my ice cream cones. <laughs> that would be super cool. So not a fan of that particular pattern, but let's see what's on the back. I do like that. So I will definitely get that used up. This I'm a fan of because it's got like the ombre effect and you're just going to get that by blending, right? Blending on your stamp. So start light and then blend a little darker in there. So easy, easy, easy. Stripes, I love that. I love the colors in here. It's just so inspiring and refreshing. Now, you know, it's funny. I really wasn't a fan of this one. Maybe it's because it was the colors. I don't know, but I am a fan of this one. I mean, look at the walls. I love, I love green and teal. I love teal. So I am a fan of that. Love the polka dots. Not a huge fan <laughs> this one but you know what I like the back so that's cool that's I hope this is all in frame here let me move this around and then we've got more ice cream cones and oh of course we've got the confetti so I'm really liking this paper though I may have to stock up on an extra one of these so that I have them for the future so that was pretty much what came in my order but something interesting happened so my box <laughs> I have to show you something about the box and I want you guys to let me know if, if this happened to you. But I have to say, I was sitting here at home and my app for my UPS app went off and it said, you know, you've got a delivery. And I went downstairs because I knew it was stamping up and I opened the door and there was no box. And I, I mean, you know, those moments where like your heart just goes, drops down to the bottom of your feet. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's happened to me now. What happens is I live in an area where my street is a drive, but it's a two name street and then it's a drive. But the two name street is repeated in my community. So mine's a drive, but then there's one that's a lane and then there's one that's a whatever, you know what I mean? And I get mail all the time, like deliveries, not mail to my mailbox, but deliveries to my house for an address that's similar to mine that's on a close, okay? So it's blank, blank, close. And I'm always driving it over there, no big deal. But for the first time it happened to me. Got on the phone with UPS and it was a temporary driver. My regular driver's away. So they took my parcel, delivered it somewhere else, scanned it and said it was delivered and it wasn't. But it was back at my house within a couple hours. So they were able to correct it. So I opened it right then and there that day. And I have to say this happened to me and I don't know, I gotta let me know if this has ever happened to you, but I opened it and this was the first thing I saw was these two little pink, I did not put these here, I promise. These two little pink stickers and I was like, what the heck? Why do I have to? It's kind of like, do you ever go to one of those weddings or parties where they say, everybody lift up your plate and look underneath because whoever has the purple whatever sticker wins a prize. I was like, do I win a prize? <laughs> so I was talking to my upline and I'm like, what's with the pink stickers? It's a mystery. Nobody knows. And I ended up talking to Stampin' Up for something else. And I asked them about the stickers. They have no idea. But tell me if you've got stickers like that in your box. I have no idea why they're there. Or if you know why they're there, please let me know. Because it's one of those things where it's like, how did they get the caramel in the Cadbury bar? You have to know the answer. And it's like, I'm going to wonder about it for the rest of my life unless I know. So 
Thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you for sticking with me and bearing with me through this difficult time. I know I haven't been very consistent on my videos. I'm going to try to get better at that. But in the meantime, until I see you again, take care and happy stamping.